Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about otosclerosis and stepidectomy. This is a concise presentation for medical students. What is otosclerosis? Otosclerosis is basically a disease of the bony labyrinth. In this, one or more foci of irregularly laid spongy bone replace part of normally dense incondral layer of bony otic capsule. This leads to stapes fixation and conductive deafness. The exact cause of otosclerosis is not yet known. So this is a picture of a normal ear. If you see in otosclerosis the spongy bone replaces the normal bone in the stapes region leading to stapes fixation and conductive deafness. That is uh, in this region um, the spongy bone replaces the normal bone in this particular region not necessarily but most more often than not uh, this region is involved this leads to stapes fixation and conductive deafness that is the sound waves are not conducted to the inner ear etiology of otosclerosis uh, there is an anatomical basis uh, there is an area called fissula ante fenestrum that is the area in front of oval window is more prone for otosclerosis otosclerosis can be hereditary um, a ray, a ray also plays a major role in otosclerosis because white races are more prone for otosclerosis. Females are more prone for otosclerosis and otosclerosis uh, starts in, at between 20 to 30 years of age. Other factors like osteogenesis imperfecta also play a role in otosclerosis. Viral infection can also lead to otosclerosis. What are the types of otosclerosis? There are three basic types of otosclerosis. They are steperial otosclerosis, cochlear otosclerosis, and histologic otosclerosis. In steperial otosclerosis, spongy bone is deposited near the oval window. This leads to conductive hearing loss due to the fixation of the stapes. This uh, in turn is divided into five types based on the location. It can be anterior focus, posterior focus, circumferential, biscuit type, and obliterative type. In cochlear otosclerosis, uh, the spongy bone is deposited near the round window. This leads to sensory neural hearing loss due to liberation of toxic materials into the inner ear fluid. There is another type of otosclerosis called histologic otosclerosis. You can see the microscopic findings of otosclerosis, but the otosclerosis is asymptomatic. What are the gross and microscopic features in otosclerosis? Grossly, if you see, there will be chalky white it will be chalky white grayish or yellow deposit it will be red if the otosclerotic focus is active and rapidly progressing the microscope uh, features are spongy bone appears in the normally dense incondral layer of otic capsule what are the symptoms of otosclerosis there will be hearing loss uh, the hearing loss will be painless progressive insidious in onset bilateral and will be of conductive type of hearing loss mostly a peculiar symptom called paracosis will, see, will be seen. Here, the patient hears better in noisy surroundings. Tinnitus will be seen in cochlear otosclerosis. Vertigo is an uncommon symptom of otosclerosis. The speech of uh, otosclerosis patients will be monotonous, well modulated, and soft. What are the signs? Renatus will be negative, that is, bone conduction will be better than air conduction. Webertus will be lateralized to the poorer ear. Absolute bone conduction will be decreased in cases of cochlear otosclerosis. Putone audiometry reveals a loss of air conduction more for lower frequencies. A peculiar sign called Carrard's notch is seen. That is, there will be a dip in bone conduction uh, at 2000 Hz. That is, there will be a dip in bone the dip in bone conduction curve is maximum at 2000 Hz. Stapedial reflex will be absent when the stapes is fixed, that is, in advanced stages of otosclerosis. What is the treatment for otosclerosis? There is no medical treatment for otosclerosis. Stepidectomy or stepidotomy with placement of processes is the treatment of choice for otosclerosis. In stepidectomy, a part of the footplate of the stapes is removed, whereas in stepidotomy, a hole is made in the stapes footplate. The other steps are the same in both these procedures. Now let us see in detail about stepidectomy. 
The fixed autosclerotic stapes is removed and the prosthesis is inserted between the incus and oval window. What are the contraindications for stapedectomy or stapedotomy? If the year that is to be operated is the only year uh, that is supposed to be a contraindication for stapedectomy. Associated meniere's disease is a contraindication. Young children, divers and frequent air travelers are not good candidates for stapedectomy. In fact, they are contraindicated for stapedectomy. In these cases, hearing aid is prescribed. What are the steps of stapedectomy? A meatal incision is made. Tympanomeatal flap is raised and reflected forward. Posterior superior orang is removed to expose facial canal and pyramid. Stapedial tendon is cut and stapy superstructure is removed. A part of the foot plate is removed and teflon piston that is a prosthesis is inserted. In stapedotomy, a hole is made in the foot plate and teflon piston that is prosthesis is inserted and all the other steps remain the same. Uh, to simplify, uh, the stapy superstructure is removed and the prosthesis is inserted. One end of the prosthesis that is hooked end is connected to the incus and the other end is connected to the old window. Th th these are the stapy, uh, stapy su superstructure and these are removed in stapedectomy or stapedotomy and these are the prosthesis. Uh, the curved end that is the hooked end of the prosthesis is connected to the incus and the other end is connected to the old window in order to correct, correct the conductive deafness. So if we place the hooked end in the incus and the other end in the old window, the conductive system of the ear, uh, ear is restored. Thereby the sound waves are conducted to the inner ear. What are the complications of stapedectomy? There can be a tear of tympanomeatal flap, perforation of tympanic membrane, incus dislocation, facial nerve injury, vertigo, perilim fistula or granuloma, conductive hearing loss, sensory neural hearing loss, dead ear. All these complications can result if the stapedectomy procedure is not done in a proper way. Thank you.